blog, day 31, made it all the way to 31, that's crazy, time's flying, and I'm not sure if in a good way, but either way, day 31, blog, 31, how many times I'm going to say that, who knows, January 25th, 2023, Thursday, I'm tired, <laughs> surprise, um, Stayed up a little late because of live stream about an hour later than stayed up, stayed up about an hour later than usual. So I'm definitely feeling it. But the good thing is, like, I know I'm tired, so I'm not putting too much weight on my feelings. I'm like, okay, give yourself a second. You're tired. So just knowing I need to take things a little bit slower and just uh, be a little kinder to myself today. And which is progress as before. It's still like, you know, oh, I got to be the same if I'm tired. But I know that, I don't know, sometimes you got to give yourself a little bit of a break, I feel like. But yeah, last night's live stream actually went really well. Um, although sometimes I always come away feeling like that um, maybe I'm kind of ruining the session. So it's a, it's a TTRPG live stream uh, played with a bunch of really cool people, really um, good people. And um, I don't know, but sometimes I feel like I can... And for anything, for any kind of situation, I feel like I can ruin things. Um, and it's probably just me. And you probably talk to the group, say, hey, if something needs to change, let me know. But I just I always get that feeling for whatever reason. You know, maybe I should probably <laughs> analyze and think about it a little bit more. Probably come up with something, but I don't know. But either way, the session was actually, actually went pretty well. Um, even when we talked afterwards, everyone like had a had a blast, so that was it was cool. And so I'm probably just being in my head too much, but I don't know. I'm tired. I'm tired. Okay. So yeah, so I did that um, this morning. Had got you know did a little stretching, whatever. Went to work. You know, still woke up at the same time, but I should have probably just slept in a little bit, then stretch later. Yeah. But I wanted to go to work. At, well, we'll get to that. So yeah, I went to work. Had a pretty good day at work. Um, made a mistake, but was able to kind of correct it and apologize to the person I made the mistake with, which was good. I was able to get out of my feelings enough and like be like, okay, I see, I see where I'm wrong. And the person was like, oh, it's completely fine. And again, just shows how, at least for me, I try to assume like, oh, this person must feel this way about something. And then it's not even that bad. Like, it's still good I apologize, but like it wasn't even that big of a deal so that's usually how things go um so yeah work work went well you know apologize yada yada all that stuff um got off went straight to the library because about to do a little like y'all know a library hall is coming even though it's because they got those books back there but and i couldn't read digital minimalism because it was due it's been on hold so I had to wait to read that one so i'm mad at myself for not reading that one but you know what lessons so yeah i uh, went to the library then i went shopping had to go to two stores because one store didn't have everything and you know I'm, I'm, I'm about to sign up for one of those like delivery services for groceries because yes it's money but so much time could be saved that could be spend more time reading writing or just relaxing just like just you know just chilling and then i think that may be worth the money so i'm definitely gonna look into that this weekend so we'll see but yeah, so on to the library hall. So we have three books. We have uh, Prince Harry's Spare. Um, yeah. A friend actually heard about it, and I was like, okay, might as well look it up. And then, yeah. <laughs> so it should be interesting. I like memoirs, and so well, that's cool. I didn't even know. That's, look at him. We on the cover. I, I like memoirs. Because there's a cool way to, to, different way to see different perspectives, you know, different, especially someone else and kind of, I love looking at them Then helps me, like I said this before when I read, I'm still no word from you, kind of makes me look at my own life. So yeah, wanted, wanted some, a little, little nonfiction, um, got two others as well. And this one, this one's so big, it's giving me like, you know, book anxiety. Cause I'm like, man, like it's there, they, this Stephen Markley is not playing around. But yeah, The Deluge by Stephen Markley. Look at that cover, though. It's gorgeous. And it's pretty much the reason why I got it, because like, I saw the cover. I was like, wow, that looks cool. But man, 
that is a thick book. And so the good news is there's not a lot of holds on it, so it'll give me some time. And I think the, he breaks it up into books because, like, I looked at the first thing. It's called Book One, One Last Chance. Ooh, so. But it's good, though, because I had to t- t- talk myself off the book mountain and be like, you know, if it takes you two weeks or three weeks, who cares? And if I really enjoy it, I'm not going to mind. Like with um, Shantaram, that book was like 900 pages, but I I enjoyed it for the most part. That's, that's, that's complicated, but for the most part, I enjoyed it enough to finish it. So it didn't feel like, oh, man. And same with the Athena Club book, too. It was like 700 and some pages, but again, I enjoyed it. It flowed to me, so... I'm definitely gonna give it a chance, and and like I said, I'm not I'm not beholden to any book. So you know, if I don't, if I'm not feeling, it, I'm not gonna force myself to read something. Um, although sometimes it's nice to read things that that I don't like as a writer, just so I can be like, okay, what didn't like about this, and so I can kind of use that in my own writing. And be like, okay, I know I don't like this, so let me make sure when I write, I don't do X, Y, and Z. But we'll see, and then picked up this one too this one's complete opposite like light just asking to like sit down and read me um so this one's by emily wilde encyclopedia of fairies oh, well she, no it's actually by heather fawcett yeah look at the text was a little bit it's by heather fawcett okay this is a character in the book by heather fawcett but uh, another gorgeous cover look at that love like the little flowers in the framing but yeah Got this one because, like, at the li- actually because of the library, they have like this. I think I said it in a couple weeks ago, they had a a little flyer that shows like books coming out that like you know li- like li- librarians across the country are excited about. This is one of them, and just reading like a little bit about the blurb, I was like, you know what, that, that sounds that sounds awesome. It kind of gave me like a cozy vibe, and especially after reading some heavier books, um, like the one I just finished, it's. I don't know, I like reading, just, it's, it's nice to change it up, read some heavier ones, darker ones, lighter ones, like a little bit of everything, so definitely excited to dive into this one, by the first page, I'm already, I'm like, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm into it, so, but yeah, so those are three books I got, I'm probably going to start with Prince Harry, just because, let me, let me pull up the app, because it's at a ridiculous number, if I can get into load right now, I think it's like 140, you know, we'll just say 140. It's like it's like 140 um, holds on it. So if I don't read it now, I either have to buy it or wait like three or four, maybe even five months to read it. So I'm like, let me. And plus, I haven't read a nonfiction and well, actually, still no working with nonfiction. That was two books ago. But you know what? I want to read a nonfiction right now. So I'm probably start with that one and then maybe read some of the dilute. Oh. Kind of feeling the Encyclopedia, though, of fairies. So probably Prince Harry, Encyclopedia of Fairies, and then the, the Deluge. And so I think that's uh, right now the game plan. And I still got to tie those. And the ones are poetry. Two of those are poetry books, so I'll probably, and they're pretty small, so I'll probably fit those between, like maybe read a poetry book with them, this one. So we'll see. We'll have a little reading vlogs, whatever, in this. But yeah, um... But I ended up finishing the book yesterday, though, which I don't know how I'm forget the Dream Builders. I forgot for a second, and that one still still sad. But the ending was at least a spoiler, so the ending was still at least enough where it wasn't like you know. They were still. It wasn't completely crushing to me. Like it still had like enough. Like we were kind of okay. There's a sort of light at the end of the at the end of the plane ride, so. But yeah, still just a good read. And I actually liked it too. It has some really good questions at the end. I don't have it with me because I have to return it. But it's cool when they put those questions for like book clubs or just, I guess, for just personal thinking. And so I thought that was a nice touch. It really made me think about the book in general. And I was like, dang, I wish I had someone to discuss these questions with. So just a little lonely, but it's fine. It's fine. You know, just reading by myself. It's cool. <laughs> But yeah, so that was my day. This video is so long. I need to, we need to cut it. It's, getting, it's almost it's going to be 10 minutes. Oh, gosh, I'm, I'm sorry. But you don't have to watch the whole thing, so I'm not sorry. You can just stop. You can watch a minute and just cut out of here. Um, 
But yeah, still working on that easy D6 um, little, on a one-shot mini campaign, we'll see. Um, they're just now reading about it, so they're getting into it. Like I said, this is their first time playing any kind of t- tabletop role-playing game. So I can't wait to kind of get started. I've been rereading it myself, and the rules are so easy. I'm like, dang, I get this. I can start. We can just kind of start, so i got to actually design a little adventure for them. But I'm going to be patient and wait till they make characters and kind of build it around that a little bit. I think that might be better because I do have some ideas. I'm like, let me let them get their characters and then kind of go with them on that and, and talk to them and see what they might, even if it's the first first time, can still see what they might be into or think they might be. So I'm going to talk to them first, like a little zero session. It's getting all the, the Discord set up and they're super stoked. So definitely be vlogging about that too. But yeah, this is this has gone on long enough. I need to go eat some dinner. So um, have a good night, a good evening, good mid morning, midday, mid afternoon, midnight, whatever time. What have a good whatever comes after this for you. Have a good time, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. So day thirty two because I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the month at least, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, see you in the next one.